Okay, so we left off on Friday with, um, we got the side view, and we got the bottom of our um, birdhouse mate. So now what we need to do is we need to um, add the roof, this here, and we need to add the back and the front of the birdhouse. Now this isn't gonna take too long. And what I'm gonna do is once we get this done, I am gonna allot you time in class today to work on this. Now, I want you to listen to me here first before we move on, okay? I have a lot of students, and let me unstop sharing this. I've had a lot of students in other classes that are starting to feel a little overwhelmed. And you very well might be too. I'm going to tell you this, folks. Um, you take things in chunks. Okay? You don't eat an elephant in one sitting. You eat an elephant in a lot of little sittings. Oh, huh? what are you talking about, Ms. Refrain? I'm talking about a little metaphor here. It's like you got to do your work in little chunks. What I can tell you now is, is folks, I want you to be working on my stuff now, okay? Because if you're doing that in my class, it's going to be a lot easier for you later on down the road, okay? So please, please, please make sure you're doing my stuff now. We don't want to get any farther behind, okay? Make sure you're focusing on what we're doing here in class now, okay? All right. Back to sharing the screen. All right. So we know that all of these pieces are an eighth of an inch thick, correct? Yes, that's what it is. Now, so what I'm going to do is I need to measure the length of this roof piece here. So... And it's hard to see, but it actually measured out as six inches, okay? So what I need you to do is we got to do a couple things. We're going to measure off of this line right here, okay? And notice I'm not measuring off of these points. I'm measuring off of this here. So I'm going to take my ruler here, and I'm going to measure this length right here. Okay, I got three and five-eighths inches. Here's the point right here. Three and five-eighths. Okay. Well, I know that half of three is one and a half, right? And half of five-eighths is five-sixteenths. So if I count over one two, three, four, five. I'm going to make a dot right here. That should line up right here. So I've got my center dot right here and this point right here. Okay, so I found my dot down here. I'm going to find this dot right here. Okay, now I told you that... The distance from here to here was six inches. So now what I do is I take my ruler and I line it right up on this line, this line, and this line. I put my three right on that dot. I come out to here, I make a dot out here. I come out to here, I make a dot out here. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna draw a line from here all the way up to here. Okay. So what I am essentially drawing is this side of the plywood. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add to the top side of it. So this is the underside of the roof. Okay. So now what I do is I'm going to take my ruler here and I'm going to try and line up the line of the whole number right on there 
and I want to make it as parallel to this line as I possibly can. I'm going to count up two sixteenths, which is an eight. One, two, make a dot, draw my line down. Okay, flip my ruler over. I'm going to do the exact same thing again. Line that whole number up right on there. Try and keep it as square as I can. One, two, make a dot, bring it down. Now, what we're going to do next is we are going to box this in right here. Okay, so I'm going to line up this point here to this point over here. And I am going to draw my line down. Now, there is my roof. Okay, but I need to do some erasing here. So you need to get in here. Hopefully you, your eraser has a nice edge on it where you can fit it in here. I need to erase this line from here to here, this line from here to here, this line from here to here, and this line from here to here. Okay? Really hard to get in there. I know. Do your best. Okay, now, the next one is real easy. <coughs> I am going to draw to the outside of this here. I need to add the front view, because this is also an eighth of an inch thick, right? I need to draw this. So... All I have to do to do this is come across the bottom. I'm going to line my ruler up on this line. I'm going to go to the whole number. I'm going to go 1, 2, which is 1 8. Okay. And I want you to kind of pay attention to where you're at in relation to this line here. You're going to come up Oops. here. Oh, I've my ruler twice. Mr. Dufresne is a silly guy. Okay, line up here, count over two. So I, I'm off of this line. I've lined up on this line coming across. I've got, um, I'm at my half inch mark here. Doesn't matter, I can go whole number. Doesn't matter. Go one, two, make a dot. And now I'm going to connect those dots. Okay, and guess what? I'm gonna do some more racing. Oh, and I got to draw over here also. Draw this whole thing in, and guess what? I'm going to race from here to here, from here to here, from here to here, and from here to here. So, get your racer, get her in there. Okay. You may need to come back and re darken things in. All right, and now I'm going to do the same thing here. And then we're kind of getting to the point where we are just about done with these views here. And what we're going to do after that is we are going to, uh, tomorrow, we should start working on the top view. Okay, so I've measured over an eighth inch across the top, and an eighth inch down here. I'm gonna connect the dots.
Okay. And I am going to come back over here and I'm going to draw this all the way down here. And guess what? I'm going to race from here to here. I'm going to race from here to here. I'm going to race from here to here. And I'm going to race from here to here. And I guess I need to do this here too. From here to here and from here to here if you haven't done that already. A lot of little detailed work in here. But if you're at this point, your drawing should be looking pretty good. All right. And it looks like I need to come over here. And I need to draw this across here. Because I need to add that. And I need to come over to here. So now I'm going to erase on the bottom of my drawing. I'm going to erase from here to here and from here to here. And then if you race off some areas, you can always come back and redraw that in. All right. Okay, folks. So what we're going to do now is we are going to... Um, <coughs> Uh, I'm going to give you time to work on these during this class time. And if you have any questions, please speak up and let me know. Okay? Tomorrow, we're going to work on the top view, looking down on the top of it. And then we're going to have to draw some hidden lines and stuff like that to show that. And it'll be a little interesting. Okay? <laughs> So on letter uh, drawing C, there we got our side view. We did some lining up. Okay. Oh, you know what? I got to draw. I got to do one other thing. I got to draw this up here, this piece up here. So what I need to do is I need to know how wide this is. So let's let's measure. I forgot to add a piece, so we're going to do that. So I've got four and fifteen sixteenths across here. Um, so for our sakes, I think I'm going to go four and seven eighths. I think that's easier to to divide. So I want to come here, and I need to add. So I'm at four and a sixteenth. So it's two, and a, we're going to go in between two and a six, uh, two and two and one sixteenth. So we'll make a mark there. And you should be able to line your ruler up, and they should, off this point down here, line up up here, which I've got. Okay. <laughs> so I said that the width of this was. <laughs> Oh, let's go five. We'll just call this five up here. Okay. So five inches. Half of five is two and a half. So I take my ruler right here. And I am going to line the two and a half inch mark right on the center dot right here. And I'm going to line things up. And I'm going to draw all the way out to the zero all the way out to the five, okay? And I'm also going to come up here and I am going to, I've got to find these points up here too because this thing's going to come up and it's going to come up to here. So we'll, um, 
this will come down and then it, we're, we're going to draw up and that's going to represent this section in here that you see. So kind of have to do a little bit of funky measurement here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come off at this point here and I want to try and estimate the distance between here and here. Over here, the same thing. Okay, so looking at this, you will need to grab your ruler that you made or that stick. And what I'm doing here is I'm paying attention I'm paying attention to the distance from here to here along this ruler here and the same thing here or to here. So what I'm going to do is I am going to find this point here. I'm going to draw across. I'm going to try and maintain that. I'm off a little bit, so it's going to be more right about here. And I also need to find this point right here. And that is going to correspond over here. So if I take this ruler and I'm paying attention to where it's at, on mine it's right on this line, right on, um, right on this intersection here. Okay, yours might be a little different based on your drawing. So if I come over to here, I gotta kind of get this lined up here. And I'm going to mark right over here, and I'm approximately right about here on this. So what this represents is, and I'm actually, I'm going to erase this here and here, this line here, because this is not right. Holy cow, there's a lot of rigor going on here, isn't there, folks? Okay, so I'm going to come over here like so. All right. I'm going to line this point up here. So, do to here. Draw my line up. And then I'm going to draw over here. And then I'm going to draw this in here. All right. <laughs> Now, I will eventually have to put the hidden lines in and stuff like that. But that essentially is it. And if you were to go right across here, you would notice that there would be a hidden line coming across here. That hidden line from here to here is this line here. You can't you can't see this line here that's running across here, but it's there. Okay. And now what I need to do is I need to just come down here and represent the thickness of this right here.
So you will need to measure down. So you come over to this point right here, line it up, and you want to estimate it. You want to get it as close as you can because it's not going to be true looking at it straight on, but there is going to be a line running right across here. Okay, so this one here comes across and this one comes across. So that is, the, for the most part, finished up version of the front view and side view of the birdhouse. Tomorrow we will work on the other. Okay. Let me stop this. And we'll finish recording.